of Stainwood's education, barely six months after the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, suspended its nine-month industrial action, there are threats of another. This development often makes students weary as they have to go through disruptions in the academic calendar and lots more. Plus, TV Africa's correspondent Uchechi Obwehi Daniels went to the University of Lagos to fill the polls of the students. Her report. Ovaha Ovokiru Salem and Ayola Akinayo are ambitious and determined 200 level students of the University of Lagos who have been hit hard by the storms of ASU's indefinite strikes. They anticipated finishing school at the stipulated four years given to them for their course of study, but the federal government still has scores to settle with the union. Many other students find themselves in Salem and Akiyanyo's shoes. They have spent at least one more year than they should have and fear that they could spend even more time on campus. Salem and Ayo have their hearts torn apart after the news of this latest threat. I don't think you should be going on strike on this particular um, non-teaching strike or pause in academic whatever. I don't think you should be going on strike just to get attention of the government. You should look for other means to get attention of. If you want us to strike with you, we will help you go and carry placards. We will march to uh, to just still teach us. Finding that the government is probably not standing on what they had promised the ASU guys is making all of this come up again, and it's very very sad. I understand the um, academic staffs are fighting for our rights and their rights indirectly because if you don't pay them well, they don't teach us well, and that's not going to be nice enough. However, they are, they are keeping us waiting for years that we cannot account for. A lecturer of the Department of Political Science, Ebenezer Ishola, justified ASO's stand on the decision of the strike. Generally, the issues are clear on the reason why there, there are talks about strike in the air. But I also say, well, strikes are there as the last resort for ASO. ASO would not just wake up one morning and say we decide to go on strike. There must have been a series of engagements that are yet to you know, produce the desired fruit. That's why you have this talk. So what we have now, let me just say, is a matter of announcements, is a matter of town crying. Sadly, about 1.2 million students studying at Nigeria's public universities might have the academic calendar disrupted again, and this will gravely affect their academic pursuits. Uchechi Ubuehi Daniel, reporting for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.